days ago I looked around the downstairs of our house and it was chaos everywhere. It felt as though there was not a surface or a floor space that wasn't covered in something. Toys that the girls had got out, pens, books, shoes, coats. And in the kitchen, our 18 month old had seemed to just take, she'd taken great delight at breakfast in throwing her cornflakes over the floor. Great fun game but it meant that they'd been crushed into this fine powder that was now all over the kitchen floor. And I looked at all the madness around me and just thought, I can't coexist with this chaos any longer. So I grabbed the cordless vacuum cleaner and began to vacuum. And 40 seconds in, nothing. It had completely stopped working. And this had happened for the last two days. So Pete, my husband, got onto Dyson and it turned out that we needed a new battery which has been sent out and it's now on the charger getting ready for use. It's just a simple thing, isn't it? But it got me thinking about batteries. Our phones have been in constant use since we've been working from home and do accessing stuff for homeschooling. And so we've needed to remember to keep them recharged as much as possible and a lot more frequently during the day. I wonder how your batteries are doing today. Are you feeling depleted? Are you struggling with the juggling? On aircraft, they tell you to fit your own oxygen mask before you can help a child or a vulnerable person. And we find ourselves in a crisis time at the moment where all of us want to help others. We want to hold people close, whether that's family or friends, or whether we're actually taking a much more strategic role in caring for others on the front line. But in all of that, However, we are called to help others. We also need to pause and to rest and to recharge. It's going to be vital at a time like this, more than ever. So how do we recharge? Well, for me, getting that fresh air each day has been a total lifeline. And I'm also sitting in our creative room at the moment and there's a piano just over there. And that's a place for me where I know I can relax and recharge. So when our girls are in bed tonight, I'm going to spend some time being creative because it's something that replenishes my soul. What is it for you? Even if you're only able to take a five minute pause and regroup, do you need to find some recharge today? Pete spoke to us beautifully about being kind to ourselves and rest and replenishment is a really key part of that. Psalm 23 says this, God offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love. His tracks take me to an oasis of peace. That's where he restores and revives my life. If you're feeling depleted today, if your batteries need a recharge, could I encourage you to rest in his luxurious love and to let him lead you to a place of peace in the madness.